Hello everyone, welcome to my Dentistry Tuesdays and today's topic is Curodon. What is it? My name is Greg Chomp, I'm practicing general dentistry for the last 25 years. I love dentistry, I love helping people, and I'm happy to share it. Now let's get into it. A TikTok user by the name of Coco Mama asked me to make this video regarding Curodont. I like to say that Curodont did not ask me to do this review, nor did they sponsor any part of this video. I am not an affiliate for Curodont. Curodont is a non-invasive two-structure remineralization treatment that can that is made by V Vardis for treating early tooth decay and sensitivity. It is meant to reverse beginning cavities people may have, especially ones that start in between the teeth. It contains a bioactive peptide called P11-4 that penetrates the enamel surface, thereby attracting calcium and phosphorus that are building blocks of tooth structure and therefore resulting repair. It is most suited to reverse beginning cavities when applied. It is applied to the affected tooth like a fluoride varnish. The advantages are it's minimally invasive and conservative. This definitely falls in the preventative approach I strive for. No anesthesia is necessary and it costs less than getting your tooth drilled. The disadvantages are it might not work. However, the manufacturer says it's 93 to 95% successful. The dentist insurance typically do not cover it unless the dentist bills it as if they did a fluoride varnish application. For those with white spots that are signs of decalcification, the Curodon can help, but doesn't completely make the white spots disappear. Once applied, please refrain from eating, drinking, or rinsing for at least 30 minutes, much like the fluoride varnish application. Let the material soak into the tooth structure to do its magic. Looking at a mental analysis study regarding the efficacy of Curodon, and it wasn't very conclusive. These types of studies are difficult to conduct and to evaluate if the material works or not. A research article from the NIH did a random study and found that curodont with fluoride produced better results than curodont by itself and by fluoride varnish by itself. Although curodont seems very promising, but I think the efficacy isn't where I would like it to be. I don't use this material in my practice, nor do I apply this material to my patient's teeth. I believe curodont fits into the same category of preventative materials like silver, diamine, fluoride, and fluoride varnishes. Thank you, Coco Kamana, for a great suggestion for today's Dentistry Tuesday's topic. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. If you have another idea about a topic you wish me to present, let me know in the comments as well. I thank you for joining me on my Dentistry Tuesdays. I appreciate everyone for being here. Thanks and bye-bye.